We're delving deeper into the numbers of the exclusive Fox 4 Emerson College Kansas poll. And the big takeaway is the dead heat in the governor's race between incumbent Laura Kelly in Kansas and Attorney General Derek Schmidt. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlestad joins us now. Jake, independence could be the key. Well, yes, these candidates are battling for those votes from independence. So you get some interesting information when you start cross referencing their candidate preference with, say, how they voted on the values in both amendment. Independent women who voted no on the abortion issue are going for Kelly by a big margin 76% of the time. I wouldn't want to live in a state that didn't protect the rights of all Kansans. Fox 4 Emerson College poll results indicate that incumbent Democrat Laura Kelly is buoyed by the issue of abortion access, looking at how people plan to vote following astonishing turnout in the primary on the value them both amendment. It's not on the ballot. And it'll be interesting if the turnout drops because it was one of the that's the highest turnout that we've compared uh, from 2018 to 2022. Kansas was the top. We see a break of independence moving towards Kelly. And so that's what's keeping her slightly ahead in this race. Here's the current breakdown of polling. Notice that the difference between candidates falls within the margin of error. Also note that the independent candidate, right-leaning Dennis Pyle, currently has support totaling more than the difference between Kelly and Republican Derek Schmidt. If she just wouldn't have vetoed the bill when they put it on her desk three years ago. For Schmidt, male voters are going with him 51% of the time versus 38% of women. For Kelly, it's the reverse. So when we're taking a look at the male vote, the economy is a top issue, and they're breaking for the Republican about three to one. But then we look at that female vote and abortion access is the second most important issue in the entire electorate. So after um, the economy, it is abortion access and that's breaking for the Democrats nearly 80 to like five. So as more people come on board and say abortion access is my top issue, that generally will help the Democratic candidate. So you also need to consider this. There are actually Republican women who voted no on the value them both amendment. 43% of them say that they are planning on voting for Schmidt, who was supportive of the value them both move. But 36% say that they're going with Kelly with another 18% still undecided. So yeah. still a margin that could make all the difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not over yet. Very contested race here. And more results coming later as we get closer to Election Day. That's right, Jack. Right. Thank you.